friends welcome back to my channel yes uh, today we are going to look at this stuff here uh, if I change here the name you see it's a, a changeover switch uh, but uh, this changeover it's a manual because we have automatic and manual but this particular one it's manual you see it has got two positions three positions it has a, a zillow uh, this means that it has not connected to either sides of the power then we have two in one so initially it will be here and uh, either side for example you choose to connect your power your main source of power that's from your utility company uh, to one and then your backup power to be from a generator to number two meaning that during normal operations you have it here in number one and uh, in case of uh, power outrage or load shedding you will have to bring it here in zero after your generator has started then you put it there in manual actually this means that uh, your generator don't need to be an automated means that when you the main source of power uh, sheds you just go and start your backup start your generator and then change this get power but um before we go into details that i show you inside and how it works i wanted to just give you a bit of systematic subject to remove together now this changeover say it's manual so let me give you just a brief uh, sketch now let's assume that uh, this in this case let's take we'll take um, like single phase I'll run only two lines and uh, this is now our changeover the one I've showed you now it's this so uh, let's have our powers now we'll have here the upper one we'll take it as uh, the main power like that and this will be L and this will be N L for live N for neutral and this will be our main main and then we also have here like that and uh, we can also take this one L for live N for neutral and this will be our J this is the backup now, this is our changeover. We've managed to insert in two lines, the main and the gen, or the backup. Now, this changeover, it operates in such a way that when one side is engaged, another side is disengaged, meaning these two powers, they will never meet. They will, there, there is no such a way that these powers they can all go in at the same time because when you turn the switch here it will turn the contacts in the opposite direction meaning if this is closed this one should be open like that so uh, this now is our load this is how we connect our load now this is live our L will come and connect with the L of the gen and also the live the neutral of the main will come and connect the neutral of the gen so you see now we will get our load we can get our load here 
now this one becomes L for life and for Newton. This has become our Lord. So you see that during the main, uh, we can also put here, meaning this is linked with that. Now I put this like a switch. Now here we have our M for main and J for backup. Now we put here off. So if this, if the knob is in the off position, that will simply mean that all these contacts are open. Neither gen nor main, no power. So you turn the dial to M and this will close. So in this way, we can show that this is closed and this is open. So if you see these contacts now, if this is in M, here we have our, our upper part, it's closed both contacts for Newton Live and in this one they are open. And if power goes, you just still go and turn the dial, like the way I showed you earlier. Here, it is in zero. Now, this is closed. So now if power goes, what we do, we just go back and comes in zero, we put back in two. The main openings and the gen comes in. Talk about the automatic change of uh, uh, in details uh, perhaps in the next video but for today we are on this one okay now let's see how it looks inside like I've already explained it get our screwdriver so I'm taking out the top part it's here and uh, I want to show you what it is. So now this is the, the main stuff. And I'm gonna zoom in a bit for us to see. Now this is how it looks. And uh, this one uh, you can choose if you have a three phase or a single phase because basically it has got uh, only three contacts. The way you see the three contacts now let us first recap this see basing on how we drew our diagram here i hope you are you are able to see one two three and then here also so now this side one side is for main like the way you said here and then another side is for the gen the backup yeah, you put the backup this side and then you put the generator um, the main this side and now if you look at the other way around there are these copper bars that they are linking uh, the two portions together you see the two contacts are being linked together the same thing we've done here is one to one two to two like the way you see such that like that. So it's just a very simple uh, thing that, that there is no big deal, there's no big magic. It's just like this. Very, very simple. So basically if you're using a, um, a single phase, this one actually suits for single phase because you use a new two and uh, a live uh, one of those. But uh, for three phase it won't help you because it, it should have maybe had another contact here so I can make them four uh, for three phase for three contacts and then one for Newton this can help you for that uh, also it has got a Newton block and earth uh, okay in case in case you're using it for three phase sorry about that uh, they have given you these two contacts uh, here one you can use one for Newton 
and then you use the other one for for earthing. That's what you want. But normally in changing over, we we like much to break everything. If you're breaking, you have to break all the lines and the neutral. It's good that way. Uh, but uh, if you don't care about much that you, you just have then to feed in your neutral here and then your half here. Um, I think that has been it. Uh, the next time, the next video uh, I'll make will talk about the changeover, uh, the automatic changeover in